Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to do my week two check-in for my cash envelopes. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Hope you guys are having a super fantastic Saturday. So, I hope your week went well. I hope you had a much better week than I did. I've been threading more times this week than I care to say. I don't know what's going on at my job, but there's some people that have lost their everlasting mind. <laughs> Then I popped one of my tires hitting a pothole. Jeez. <laughs> I was like, come on, man. Come on. I, but I couldn't see it out until I was right up on it, y'all. And I hit that pothole with a I mean with a nice healthy bump. Luckily I was only going 40 miles an hour, so I wasn't going to speed limit at all. Um, because I think I would have could have possibly wrecked my car and stuff. So but it was all good took care of everything so let's get started <laughs> Walmart I spent $27.32 in household and then at Walmart and groceries I spent $119.26 um, I wish I could tell y'all what all we cooked but I know we did my son found some kind of hamburger cheeseburger bacon cheeseburger um, like crunch thing that you do in a tortillas and I decided I was gonna try one myself. That was so painful. My stomach hurt so bad. And that was trying to attempt to eat half. And so of course it was good. <laughs> so I tried to eat the other half and yeah, me and beef. We are not friends. Um, and then on Friday, I gave a $20 tip to the tow truck driver uh, for getting my car, me and my car to discount a tire didn't know y'all did not know that the warranty that i had originally purchased on the first four tires transferred to the next tires that they had put on after that and so the only thing i had to pay out of pocket was 71 dollars and some change i can't remember what the change was but that was for the windshield wipers and it was the one thing he was like oh when last time we changed your windshield wipers i'm like i don't know change the windshield wipers I need a new tire. I don't care. <laughs> Just somebody help me. <laughs> so yeah, I was um I was messed up. But yeah, he the tow truck driver, he was awesome. He was young. Um it coming on to like where I work, it kind of scared him because I had to get clearance for him to come on campus and security had to escort him to my car and all this other stuff. So the poor guy, he he looked scared. It was um I felt bad for him because I was like, oh, poor little guy. Because he couldn't have been no older than my uh, oldest son. He just, when he started talking, I was like, oh, you're a baby. <laughs> okay, we did have our team uh, building activities. Uh, we went to Casa Mexicana on uh, Friday, but my boss paid for everyone's lunch. So I didn't spend anything out of dining out. Yay on that one. Uh, household was $27.32 and personal was $20. So I went over in personal and in household. I'm about to hit this calculator. I got to get it out of my way. But I was under in groceries. So it would have been zero for personal, but yeah, he, he, he had work for it. You know, you don't scare nobody like that. Poor guy. Um, so I felt like... I'm just hitting stuff. <laughs> I'm just knocking things around. So I was like, let me get this young man a tip. Um, but yeah, he didn't know that campus was where it was. Okay, so my groceries, the uh, remaining balance from week one was $4.79. And there's two ways to do this. You can budget about a week and take the difference between the budget and what you spent and have your remaining. I like to start from what I started with at the beginning of the month, subtract out what I spent, and that's my remaining. This is just to keep me in line so I don't overspend, but I do overspend, y'all have seen it right here. Because <laughs> when the money's out, the money's out, and that's the ultimate, like, you can't shop, you ain't got nothing type signal for me. So 119.26, I just remembered I need to write down 
that I paid for those windshield wipers. So I have $359 left. The 74 cents should be in my change. So let's see. But yeah, it was so dark. And I told my boss, I was like, look, I'm going to have to start my day at home. <laughs> I'm going to start my day. What am I doing? Y'all see this? I am having a whole meltdown here. What am I doing? Did I mess up my 150? I shown a vid. I gotta shut up. I ain't talking no more. I ain't talking to nobody. <laughs> That's a likely story. 150. 300. Poor mercy. But yeah, he agreed that it's okay for me to wait on days like that. I don't have to come out. And it's it's just that time of year around here when it the rain and it gets cold and all that other stuff. So it was supposed to be what? 359, 359. So that's 300, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So I have $359. I did take my change out of my coin purse and put it into my jar for charity. So I did do that part. Yeah, now let's see if I can remember what I'm supposed to be doing. So for week three, my groceries is already parsed out where I budgeted $150. Uh, dining out. I'm going to go with another zero for dining out. Household. I'm going to budget zero. I don't, I shouldn't need anything. Personal. I'm going to go with another 15. I don't remember anything right now, but that doesn't mean I'm not forgetting something. So, going to do that. So, we are set up for Sunday. Now, for dining out, I had $80, so I should still have $80. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. And then household, I had $62 last month. Put this up. See, I'm forgetting stuff. And as soon as I mess up, I'm going to be like, see what y'all did? See what y'all made me do? <laughs> Someone actually did that to me this week. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm going to turn off your data. Go ahead. Get your butt fired. <laughs> Being stupid. All right. So household, $62. Um, minus household was twenty seven thirty two. Uh, $34.68, so I should have 34 or $35. 20 25 30 35 got $35 there. So I'm going to try to keep that household because I at least need those three fives to go into my $5 challenge. All right, so personal, I had $80, and I uh, tipped the young man $20, so I should have $60 left there. So let's see, 20 sorry, I don't have my wallet, so y'all can actually see where I took that from. I took it from my personal section, which is in the very back. Um, 20 40 50 55 60 so I got 60 there. But next week is going to be a better week. Um, the one thing I can say, you guys, is that, you know, I've been doing the meditation the um, in the Fitbit, the little mindful things, and that helped so much. Because there were enough times, you know, like where I felt stressed and I thought, you know, it was almost like I didn't care if, if that's the right word for it. And normally what I don't care, you know, it's like, I don't care. You know, I'll tell somebody, but this time it was just kind of like, look, I'm not going to be your punching bag today. This is not going to happen. This is the way it is. This is what I, you got to do. You don't like it. Okay. Oh, you say um, my team did something to you. So you're going to start messing with our data. Um, you go right on ahead. <laughs> Have at it on the unemployment line. Just just go on ahead. Just, just, just do what you want. <laughs> 
but okay so on a no spins so since I tipped the driver on Friday I feel like that's a spin so I'm gonna treat it as a spin on Friday and I spent money on uh, Sunday and I paid the utility so I, they were $174 which was pretty good that was a pretty good bill um, cause my budget for this month was two seventy five, So I actually saved $101 on my utilities. Um, so I'm going to use some of my little, my little no spins. I like to use my, my loose ones and get this together. So when I get finished doing this, I got to get on the, get on the treadmill, keep my mentals together and Hopefully, hopefully, and next week would be better. Next week would be better, you know. I can only do so much, and I have to at some point understand that just because somebody's having a bad day doesn't give them a right to be, you know, like verbally abusive or whatever they want to do because they're having a hard time. It's like, no, this is work, and that's all I'm here to do. All this extra stuff, mm-mm. -uh. Take that to somebody who actually cares <laughs> because I don't I really don't y'all and like on my new project where I'm the PO those guys they're actually really nice people I don't even deal with all that stuff so I'm like yeah I'm going to keep extricating myself from my other stuff that I used to do the people I used to work with because I, I feel like I'm in a better space with the other team all right so I didn't spend any money on Thursday and today is Saturday. So I don't think I'm going to spend anything today. I'm not. Because I've already tallied up everything. So I might as well sit myself right on down. And because um, I do have to work out. And I got some stuff I need to do for my Etsy shop this weekend. Um, I got a lot of stuff. Hardest part on Etsy. It's not hard. It's tedious. Um, it's when you have to do the listings and it's, it's so tedious <laughs> and I, I'm like oh lord but you know it is what it is and I actually like my shop I like I like having it you know like because it's like it's, it's mine and so thank you to everybody who have been going to my Etsy shop and have been purchasing from it I appreciate you guys so much um it's been like really really wonderful to see that you guys like the inserts you see what the vision is how I do what I do um and it's open so you can do whatever you want um i think the one that's the most constricted you know i can't put a lot of categories on like the weekly check-in and stuff like that and there's some other things i'm thinking about uh adding to it for 2024 so it's going to get better and i just gotta put in the time right but thank y'all so much for watching thank you for commenting on the videos thank you for subscribing to my channel just thank you thank you thank you for being there thank y'all for helping me when i was going through my debt freedom journey uh just y'all just don't know how thankful i am <laughs> yeah you don't know how thankful i am for this community right here that's you know the crap i deal with on, on a weekday that's why i like this time right here so thank y'all so so much and i will talk to you guys again on sunday we're going to be doing my monthly budget for april and then on tuesday we're going to do my week two grocery haul but y'all have a super fantastic sunday and y'all take care of yourselves bye